hi guys and welcome to my channel so a lot of you guys have been asking me what my setup is like what I use um, what rods what reels and what other equipment I use so I just want to give you uh, insight into that so when it comes to tiger fishing especially when you're looking at your rod selection you need to have a rod with a stiff backbone that's what's going to help you set that hook you know you hear a lot of times the fish jump and spit out the hook or you just can't get that hook set most of the time it's because you have the wrong gear using rods that have very flexible tips um, you know they reduce your chance of having a good hook set so that's why you should look for a rod with a strong backbone there's a lot of good rods in this you know which you can get and I'm gonna give you some budget options and some high-end options as well so Daiwa make a very good rod called the Daiwa Tiger Tamer that was one of my first Tiger rods and it's a beautiful rod but um, what I'm using now is a Shimano Crucial 6 foot 6 medium heavy. It's a, I love this rod because it's light and it's got a heavy backbone as well. So, and the, why I like a light rod is, you know, there's a lot of times when you have to cast the whole day. And, you know, cast, using a light rod will give you that advantage. You won't get tired so easily. So here it is, Shimano Crucial okay it's a six foot six so if you look at a rod if you look at under the rod this is where all the information is so you should be able to know that this rod is a medium heavy or it's a heavy but anything under medium heavy I think is too soft for tiger then then if you want to go higher and you want to you know splash the cash this Berkeley make this rod it's called a Berkeley Venom okay and this is one of the high-end rods and these are very good rods as well they are very strong and they've got a very strong stiff backbone what I love about the Berkeley Venom rod is the eyes they don't have the ceramic eyes they have the aluminium eyes so even if by mistake you put the swivel through the top you don't have to worry about replacing your eyes um, every now and then okay but this rod goes for about 2,500 rands, if I'm not mistaken. So it's quite an expensive rod. And it's also very heavy. So if you're going to be spinning most of the day, you might you might get tired or, you know, I, I personally don't use it when I'm spinning. When it comes to reels, um, there's different reels for different applications. For example, if you're fishing with bait, you'll probably use a bait runner and in the bait runner series you probably look for 4000 size that would be an ideal size for tiger fishing and in case you're not familiar with what a bait runner is so here is what a bait runner looks like okay it usually has this clicker at the back and this engages a free spool so let me just show you what i mean okay so i'm pulling on my line you know this is the drag engaged so when you pull this down it's on free spool and you flick it back up your normal your normal drag is engaged okay so why this is important is a lot of times when you're fishing for tiger you know the tiger always makes that initial run when you're fishing with bait and if you have a bait runner it avoids um, you know you playing around with your reel and maybe losing your fish in the process so Having a bait runner will really up your chances when it comes to catching those fish. The bait runner that I have here is a Shimano Thunus 4000. This is one of the high-end reels uh, made by Shimano. And what I love about this reel is actually the handle. It's, I, I love this handle and it's, got a, it's really smooth as well. But you don't need to go for something so expensive. You get the Shimano bait runner DL as well and the Shimano bait runner D and those are in the range of about 100 to 150 dollars and it's a good reel i've caught many fish on that reel and i just recently upgraded to this shimano thanos which is about 300 to 350 dollars so the shimano bait trinity is my recommendation it's a very good budget it's a good price reel and it will last you a long time so another thing which i want to talk about is if you buy reels that are cheap most likely in one maybe two or three fish you'll just hear all sorts of noises coming out of it 
you know, the power of the tigers is, you know, is so strong that they break any substandard real uh, gears, you know. So I think always spend just slightly more and get that proper reel and which will last you a long time. I know a lot of people who have learned the hard way, you know, and you don't want to have tackle failure when you're on a trip, when you're on a trip. And so go for the right choice and choose something which are, you know, durable and reliable. When it comes to spinning or throwing lures, I like to use, uh, well, this is one of Shimano's high-end reels as well. It's a Shimano Stella. This is one of the high-end reels. It's a 4000 as well. And this is what I usually use for spinning and throwing uh, spoons, lures, and you know, it's really, really smooth. But you don't need something so expensive like this. Once again, you'll need a reliable reel and a strong reel. So actually what, in my opinion, one of the best reels you can get in a good budget uh, range is the Shimano Stradic. I know it's a bit expensive, but you'd rather go and get something which, you know, will last you a long time. When when it comes to spinning for me or casting, this is my combo. This is a Shimano Kurado DC, okay, and this is a Fate Black Gen 2. I know it's quite a flashy rod, but uh, I know I like it when you know it stands out from all the other rods. Um, what the Shimano Kurado DC does is the DC stands for digital control. So it's got a chip in here which controls the spool when you're casting so that avoids your bird nest okay and i feel like if you've had challenges with bait casters before you should definitely get one of these it makes casting so smooth and you can get you know great distance even when it's windy you won't get the bird's nests and you know your accuracy improves a hell of a lot with this reel so I recommend actually anyone who loves bait casting and who or if you tried bait casting before using a bait caster before and you used to get birds nests etc try this and I promise you you won't regret it when it comes to line a lot of people have different you know opinions when it comes to line for tiger fishing if, when I'm drifting in the lowers and busy I like to use monofilament line okay Monofilament line is cheaper and what I've noticed in the lower Zambies it does get very windy and you know uh, it sinks a lot better and this when it's windy it will help you it will help a lot I do like braid but you know looking at lower Zambies there's so much structure there and there's so many snags and you just keep losing your braid and you know braid is pretty expensive now so for lower Zambies I always use monofilament but when I go to the upper, I prefer using braid. 40 pound braid um, is good enough. 30 to 40 pound. Even on my bait caster, when you're throwing lures, always use braided line because it doesn't stretch. So that's what I'll suggest when it comes to lines. I wish I could have recorded this video along the banks of a river or something more scenic, but I had to just sit in my boat. <laughs> because well we have a fish ban in Zambia and it's only going to be lifted most likely on the 1st of March so between now and then I'll try and give you as much information as I can uh, in my next video I'll look at the lures which I usually use and how to use them and when to use them as well okay so you know thank you and if there's anything which you'd like to find out if you want to know or any other rods that you have and you want me to recommend to you you can always message me on Instagram or on Facebook and I'll be happy to respond to you. Have a good day guys.